Hi. Welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of December 6, 2021. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the trade normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF was a previous suggested short. Today, we suggest to buy it. Let's look at the market sectors table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell utility sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $67.7. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.14. Energy sector ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy AOG resources. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $87.63. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.51. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Kanoko Phillips Company was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Kanoko Phillips Company is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 4.4%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.0%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $74.31, but we expect a possible sell price of $74.71. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $72.46, unless is undervalued. Exxon Mobil Corporation was a previous suggested vertical put option. The sell put strike price was sold at $58, and the buy put strike price was bought at $60. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on December 10, 2021. Kinder Morgan was a previous top seller alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Kinder Morgan is a trade high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 2.4%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.6%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $15.69, but we expect a possible buy price of $15.41. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $15.85, unless is overvalued. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Citigroup Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.3%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $63.32. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.32. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. 
American Express was a previous suggested vertical put option. The sell put strike price was sold at $147.5, and the buy put strike price was bought at $155. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on December 10, 2021. U.S. Bancorp was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that U.S. Bancorp is a trade high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 3.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.6%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $58.37. But we expect a possible sell price of $58.49. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $55.25, unless is undervalued. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, Wells Fargo has a sell put strike price at $46, a buy put strike price at $48, a buy call strike price at $48, and a sell call strike price at $52. This spread option will expire on December 10, 2021 and the estimated price is at $1.35. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Simon Property Group. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $155.31. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.94. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Prologis. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $153.99. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.58. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Johnson & Johnson. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $161.73. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.25. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, Merck Incorporated has a sell put strike price at $69, a buy put strike price at $73, a buy call strike price at $74, and a sell call strike price at $78. This spread option will expire on December 10, 2021, and the estimated price is at $1.15. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, United Health Group has a sell put strike price at $440, a buy put strike price at $452.5, a buy call strike price at $465, and a sell call strike price at $480. This spread option will expire on December 10, 2021, and the estimated price is at $3.06. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the trade normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell General Electric. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 4.2%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $95.72. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.18. 3M Company was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. 
Caterpillar Corporation was a previous suggested butterfly option. The two buy calls strike price were bought at $195, and at $207.5, and the sell call was sold at $201.25. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on December 10, 2021. General Electric was a previous suggested iron condor option. The sell put strike price was sold at $90. The buy put strike price was bought at $93. The buy call strike price was bought at $95.5. And the sell call strike price was sold at $102. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on December 10, 2021. This is a new buy suggested butterfly option. On the table, Raytheon Technologies has two buy call strike price at $82, and at $86, and a sell call strike price at $84. This spread option will expire on December 10, 2021, and the estimated price is at $0.66. Material sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Ecolab Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.8%. You may sell at a minimum price of $228.86. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $2.45. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Netflix Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 0.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $657.2. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $5.5. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. The Home Depot was a previous suggested vertical put option. The sell put strike price was sold at $395, and the buy put strike price was bought at $412.5. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on December 10, 2021. Starbucks Corporation was a previous suggested iron condor option. The sell put strike price was sold at $107. The buy put strike price was bought at $111, the buy call strike price was bought at $112, and the sell call strike price was sold at $119. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on December 10, 2021. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Procter & Gamble. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $151.25. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.55. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, Kraft Heinz Company has a sell put strike price at $32.5, a buy put strike price at $34, a buy call strike price at $34.5, and a sell call strike price at $36.5. This spread option will expire on December 10, 2021, and the estimated price is at $0.38.
Philip Morris was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Philip Morris is a trade high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.6%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.1%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $89.53. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $91.44, unless is overvalued. Technology Sector ETF was a previous suggested iron condor option. The sell put strike price was sold at $159. The buy put strike price was bought at $165. The buy call strike price was bought at $168. And the sell call strike price was sold at $174. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on December 10, 2021. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Adobe Systems. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $641.01. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $2.44. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Activision Blizzard was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Activision Blizzard is a bare low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 2.4%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $57.37 but we expect a possible buy price of $55.8. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $58.24, unless it's overvalued. Activision Blizzard was a previous suggested vertical put option. The sell put strike price was sold at $54, and the buy put strike price was bought at $58. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on December 10, 2021. Adobe Systems was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $640, and the sell call strike price was sold at $670. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on December 10, 2021. Advanced Micro Devices was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $144, and the sell call strike price was sold at $151. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on December 10, 2021. This is a new buy suggested iron condor option. On the table, Apple Inc. has a sell put strike price at $158, a buy put strike price at $163, a buy call strike price at $167, and a sell call strike price at $172. This spread option will expire on December 10, 2021, and the estimated price is at $1.26. Hewlett Packard was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Hewlett Packard is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 3.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.8%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $37.6, but we expect a possible sell price of $38.19. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $36.93, unless it's undervalued. This is a new buy suggested vertical call option. On the table, Microsoft Corporation has a buy call strike price at $330, and a sell call strike price at 
For this spread option, it will expire on December 10, 2021, and the estimated price is at $1.07. Qualcomm Company was a previous suggested butterfly option. The two buy calls strike price were bought at $172 and at $178, and the sell call was sold at $175. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on December 10, 2021. Communication sector ETF belongs to the bare normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy AT&T. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $23.73. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.14. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell T-Mobile US. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $114.74. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.34. Comcast Corporation was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Comcast Corporation is a trade high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 5.0%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $52.25 but we expect a possible buy price of $50.64. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $52.68, unless it's overvalued. Utility sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Next Era Energy was a previous suggested vertical put option. The sell put strike price was sold at $85, and the buy put strike price was bought at $90. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on December 10, 2021. Southern Company was a previous suggested short stock. Today, we suggest to buy it. Southern Company was a previous suggested vertical put option. The sell put strike price was sold at $61.5, and the buy put strike price was bought at $64. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on December 10, 2021. Bitcoin belongs to the bare normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the cryptocurrencies table. There is a strong opportunity to buy Chainlink. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 46.3%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $19.86. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Ethereum. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 14.2%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $4,138. Cardano was a previous top buy alternative. 
Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Cardano is a bear low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 5.4%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $1.38, but we expect a possible sell price of $1.55. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $1.32, unless is undervalued. Ripple was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Ripple is a bear low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 4.2%. You may expect now a buy return of 5.9%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $0.8421, but we expect a possible sell price of $0.8775. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $0.7667, unless is undervalued. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.